Trouble in the ER. Doctors are expressing growing concerns about an alarming trend and it's having an impact on their own safety. Police tell us they're seeing the same thing and all of this stems from bath salt overdoses. ABC 15's Corey Wrangell is live at Banner Good Samaritan and Corey, this product is actually legal here in Arizona. Stephanie, legal as of now, but that's about to change after a surge of problems here in the valley and across the country. To control a growing group of patients showing up at the Banner Good Samaritan emergency room. They become very, very strong and require many people to control them. Many times we've had four or five very large security guards to control these patients. Sometimes more extreme measures had to be taken. We've had a few patients who were tased by the police and uh, they were tased and uh, following uh, you know, waking up, they were markedly agitated. Doctors tell me the patients are high on so-called bath salts. People are snorting, injecting, and eating the chemical, which doctors say is similar to meth, when high users can be easily agitated and become aggressive. Bath salts can cause that. They can cause release of these adrenaline-like substances. That could, you know, lead to perhaps in these cases, you know, increased strength. Despite being tased, Mesa police say it took eight officers to physically restrain this man while trying to arrest him for stealing a car. After being taken to the hospital, doctors determined he had been high on bath salts. Mesa police say he's the third person in just the past week to show unusual strength while under the influence of bath salts. And just to give you an idea of how big this problem has become in the valley, doctors here at Good Sam say they saw just one or two cases of bath salt overdoses last year. Stephanie, so far this year, they've seen more than 160 of them. So, Corey, what about the federal government? Are they doing anything about this? Stephanie, the government has banned the chemicals used in the bath salt starting next month, the first week of October. They hope that move will curtail some of the problems that we've been seeing. Yeah, we hope so. Corey Rangel reporting live for us tonight. Thank you very much.